have never cured one single AIDS patient. We have never been able to predict the epidemic. It was said to be exploding in the general population. It hasn't. Prostitutes were supposed to be getting it. Doctors were supposed to be getting it because they're in the front lines of the viral <laughs> attack. Scientists working with HIV <clears throat> were said to die from AIDS. That hasn't happened. The basic assumption that AIDS was infectious has never been, in fact, tested, never been discussed, never been contested, or never been proved. That is an assumption that is very popular among doctors and scientists who study microbes and viruses, which are the main, the bulk of doctors these days of scientists in microbiology. And, but the majority of diseases affecting us in the Western world, that is over 99% of them, are not caused by viruses and microbes. But all doctors are all too happy to blame any disease or any new variant of a disease on a microbe because then they know what to do, what to look for, and how to possibly cope with it by making vaccines and antimicrobial and, and antibiotic drugs. We are now indicting the most harmless and most difficult to detect viruses with technology that is designed to find a needle in a haystack and blame them for fatal diseases under conditions where they are virtually undetectable in a patient, like HIV and AIDS. And that's the trouble with the hypothesis. We are blaming a virus that is practically not there, only antibodies against it are there, that is biochemically not active, that is not infecting more than one in a thousand of T-cells in an AIDS patient for fatal immune deficiency. <laughs>